everybody, I'm here again with a Troy Berry Book Talk. This time I want to talk about J.D. in Five Dimensions, which is by Diane Salerni, who also wrote The Eighth Day. So if you're a fan of this book, I think you'll really like this sci-fi option. Also, if you liked Glitch or A Wrinkle, of Time, Wrinkle in Time, this book is for you. I know the cover is kind of creepy, uh, but what's pictured here are fourth dimensional beings. So yes, this is a sci-fi book and JD, the main character, is adopted. She has a special job to do for these fourth dimensional beings which are called seers. What she does is travel through the fourth dimension to different places in the world and she has little tasks like she'll take somebody's laptop and put it on the floor or she'll open a car door. And these little events have ripple effects, have butterfly effects which the seers have told her are for the good of humanity. However, on one of JD's trips, she stumbles upon her birth family. She's been told that her parents died and her um, siblings died in a car accident. So now she's starting to question everything that the seers have ever told her. And are they really telling her the truth about how they're trying to help humanity? It, will it take a trip to the fifth dimension for JD to figure out the truth. You're going to have to read JD in five dimensions to find out. I'll see you in the media center. In history, on this day in 1791, following ratification by the state of Virginia, the first 10 amendments to the U.S. Constitution, known as the Bill of Rights, became the law of the land. In September 1789, the first Congress of, United, of the United States approved 12 amendments to the U.S. Constitution and sent them to the states to ratify. The amendments were designed to protect the basic rights of the U.S. citizens, guaranteeing the freedom of speech, press, assembly, and exercise of religion. Today's birthdays, we have Mohammed Charfidin, Isabella Henestroza, Hamza Rabani, Chandreas, Chandresh Vijay, and Anslam Jin. Happy birthday. Today's announcements. After school today, room 905, 245 to 345 p.m. Tomorrow, on Friday, we will have a seven period day and a holiday band concert. Bowling is having a holiday themed door decorating contest. Decorate your door in, the, in your fourth hour class. Winning door will, will be announced this Friday and you will win a donut party. Fortunately, the seventh grade basketball team lost against Smith 30-16. Uh, it was a tough game, but we'll get them in the last game. Weather report, high of 38 degrees, low of 34 degrees, partly cloudy, wind blowing 11 miles per hour. Cool. So, you guys played Smith on Tuesday. How do, how do you think, well, you guys lost, how do you think you're going to improve from this experience? It was a tough loss, but we, have, we know some things we need to work on, uh, and I think we can improve on that loss, and I think we should hopefully beat them next time we play them. All right. Thank you guys. So guys, what are you doing in Ms. Valente's class with these monsters that you're showing? Well, we received pictures from the kindergartners and right now we're recreating them as stuffed animals. That's fun. So, it uh, looks like your stuffed animal is coming up pretty good. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, what are you yeah, I think Lynn's like really the best good. in the class. It's so good. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Thank you.